Yo, what is up guys? This is Yeti and today I'm going to be showing you my recording settings for Minecraft as well as tutorials. So this is going to be strictly recording settings. I'm not going to do my streaming settings. If you guys want that, leave a comment down below and I will make a separate tutorial for that. But some of you asked uh, what my settings were, so I'm going to go ahead and bring that to you. Uh, right now, so yeah, I use OBS to record and live stream. I suggest using it. It's free You don't have to pay for anything like Bandicam, Fraps and Action all those they cost money and I find this to be extremely 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 the best um, For sure. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop into the settings right here, which is uh, of course what I'm gonna be showing you guys under encoding this is the first um, page that uh, we are going to look at so right here um if you guys have an nvidia card you want to tick this one instead of the first one right here because for some reason when i used to have my old graphics card and i used this one it lagged extremely bad with these settings but now that i have my nvidia card um it doesn't lag at all i get the same exact frames everything's the same so if you guys have an NVIDIA card, OBS is definitely, definitely the best for you. If you don't, I still would suggest it, but you'd have to have a higher end computer because you might get a little bit of lag. I don't know why that is. It's just something that OBS has. I'm sorry, but yeah. Now right here, UCBR, you want to make sure that the quality balance is on 10 before you tick it. So untick it if it's ticked, make that 10, then tick it again. Max bitrate, if you want the best quality 1080p 60 fps like highest quality possible this isn't the highest quality you guys are seeing right now um i mean technically it's not the highest quality possible i mean there's 4k and 8k but that's a different story highest 1080p quality possible you want to make this 50,000 right here but i like to keep mine at 35,000 to keep the file size a bit smaller while keeping the quality at uh very like very nice quality uh these two boxes you want to keep unticked and that'll just automatically say 3500 or thousand sorry codec make that uh double ac 48 hertz format uh bit rate i suggest 192 you can use anything from 128 above but 192 is definitely like very nice like it's the best for me channel make that stereo now if we go to broadcast i'm not going to save my settings now this is where I got messed up last video. I was trying to record this earlier and I accidentally tried, clicked on to change it and it kind of crashed OBS so uh, I'm not going to do that but basically it's self explanatory. Just make a folder anywhere in your videos folder on your desktop. Um, browse that. Click on the one. Um, this is like where your videos are going to save. And then you just want to put the title of every video. Uh, I just named mine recording. It's basic it's easy and it gets the job done i guess um, i don't know but uh in video here we go so this is where you want to choose your graphics card uh for me like i said nvidia gtx 750 ti um now this is where your monitor is going to come in guys um you're going to want to right click your desktop and click display settings this will take you to the settings um if you're in windows 10 click advanced and it'll show you what your display is so um most of you probably have 1920 by 1080s uh, monitors, but I've seen a few people that don't, so it's a bit weird. Um, for me, this is how I have it, and this is probably how you will have it as well. Um, so you want to make that custom, or you could just click monitor, but I have mine at custom. I've never tried that setting, but pretty sure this is the best one. So 1920 and then 1080. Um, I think that's default, but if it's not, make it 16 colon 9. Down here, you can make the resolution go down to 720 if you want when it finishes um, recording. So let's say you didn't want to make a 1920 by 1080 video. Um, and you want it to be 720p to make the file size smaller. You'd click on the downscale uh, right here, the 1280 by 720 uh, filter. Just keep that at default. And like I said, I'm making this like as the best quality. Make that 60 FPS because that's the highest that YouTube detects. Um, under audio, um, you can just keep that default, but if you have a microphone like I do, I have two microphones. I have my um, microphone on my Razer Kraken as well as my recording microphone, which is the Blue Snowball. I know, I know I'm a Yeti, but just don't mention it. Okay. Um, <laughs> but basically, you just want to choose your microphone. For some reason, whenever I have that 
um, these two settings right here at two instead of one. It just sounds better. I don't know. It could just be me, but I have these both on two. Make that 200. And like I said, the microphone and all that. Under hotkeys, um, for streaming and recording, you would definitely want to set these up. I made mine F9 because, you know, most recording programs have F9 as the recording. And for streaming, I made mine F10. You can't have them the same, so make sure those two are different. But that doesn't really affect your recordings at all. Uh, under advanced, okay, this is pretty important. Under general, you want to tick this box. This will make, like, it lag less for you and make the quality even better make sure this box is ticked uh keep that at normal 700 scene buffering these two boxes do not need to be ticked now here is the video portion um so you can either choose high performance or high quality i have high quality if you guys have a lower end pc with a gtx uh card um you'd probably want to click on high performance but for me i made mine high quality uh, just because I like to have the best quality for you guys mostly on YouTube for my gameplays I make them 720 by 60 but I could make it 1080p 60 FPS I might make a separate video for that like showing you what the quality might look like or something like that um, but yeah so right here after you do that just make sure this is on main I think you can make it high I'm not really sure what the difference is there but main works for me so that's what I have it at uh, keyframe interval just make that to UCFR CFR just tick that um, and down here I'm pretty sure all of this is default but if it's not you can just look at the screen and copy it as it shows and I'm not going to change my settings and yeah guys that's about it honestly that's everything you need to do for settings and if you guys are just now getting OBS because I made this video I might as well just show you how to set it up as well so first of all you're gonna have the default scene right here which I don't want to show because it just makes my screen black but what you're gonna normally want to do is uh, right click right here and click add scene and that'll make the scene for whether you're recording or streaming I have a stream one and a recording one because you know in my streams I like to have overlays and stuff and I just like to add that separately in a different scene but sources this is where it really matters uh, let's say you're gonna record Minecraft since I'm a Minecraft uh, player your Minecraft based channel you're probably gonna want to record Minecraft so you're gonna right click click add and you're gonna want to click game capture and before you do this you're actually gonna want to open up Minecraft and have it on the main screen or something just minus it out and then you're gonna want to go to add game capture and then it'll have like what you want to select and you want to click on the minecraft one and then it'll record minecraft but for me since i'm recording my monitor i'd right click and click uh monitor capture you can also do a window capture let's say i was just trying to record just obs i could have just done that but i just felt like showing my whole desktop um you can also add text but that's a whole different tutorial guys so i hope this did help you out a bunch if it did be sure to drop a like and of course if you guys do want to see my streaming settings of course drop a comment down below i will get that out as fast as i can and i hope you guys have a great day uh and yeah that's about it i'll see you all in the next video have a great day and take care